When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who goes out from the Father, he will testify about me. And you also will testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have many more things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. But when he, the Spirit of Truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own authority, but he will speak whatever he hears and will tell you what is to come. He will glorify me, because he will receive from me what is mine, and he will tell it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will receive from me what is mine and will tell it to you. Good morning. Welcome to a short biblical reflection on the Gospel according to John chapter 15, verses verse 26 up to chapter 16, verse 15. The Spirit of Truth will guide you into all truth, the Gospel reading for Pentecost Sunday, year B. I have just verses which are selected in the lectionary, so the beginning and the closing of a larger unit. On the screen you can see that those verses, I have highlighted the background with blue. Uh, in both uh, uh, groups of verses appears the same uh, expression, the spirit of truth. That expression appears also at the end of chapter 14, but is much farther. So the closer distance is between those two instances. And uh, there are similar expressions that the spirit of truth will testify about me. This is the statement at the beginning and uh, at the end, the spirit of truth he will guide you into all truth. Then uh, in verse 27, we have also a particular expression that you will also testify. So not only that the Spirit will testify about Jesus, but also you, the disciples, will testify about Jesus. In fact, now it is spelled out in the following verses, verses 1 up to 4 from the chapter uh, 16. Uh, where we read the statement that they will put you out uh, of the synagogue, yet a time is coming when the one who kills you will think he is offering service to God. So it describes the time of the persecution in which the disciples will give witness testimony to Jesus. And a parallel part to it uh, now shows what is the testimony of uh, the Spirit, the Advocate, in fact, in verse 26 of chapter 15, is first mentioned when the Advocate comes, and then this Advocate is called the Spirit of Truth. The word Advocate appears also now in verse 7 uh, in central part, but in uh, that parallel part from verse 8 up to 11, uh, it is said that he will prove uh, the world uh, wrong concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. And verses 9 up to 11 spell it out that concerning sin, because they do not believe in me, concerning righteousness, because I am going to the Father, you will not see me longer, and concerning judgment, because the lure of this world has been condemned. In the central part, uh, the focus is on the advocate, but also the focus is on uh, that Jesus is saying that he has to depart in order that the Advocate will come, as we read in verse 7. But I tell you the truth. You will, it is uh, uh, to your advantage that I am going away. For if I do not go away, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send uh, him to you. So we have also taken up the word that the truth, Jesus is telling the truth. And now this truth is taught and will be taught, guided by uh, the spirit of truth. And uh, the em another emphasis in the entire text is on the revelation of the Holy Trinity, because not only that uh, Jesus will send the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit will uh, remind, teach what Jesus taught, but also what Jesus has is also of the Father and vice versa. Uh, the last remark that uh, uh, those verses which were selected in the lectionary exclude the central part which spells out more the function of the spirit of truth. In other words, whenever some verses are omitted, it is good to look 
into the Bible and read those verses because quite often those are the uh, substantial verses which help us to understand the particular text. Now, this frame about the spirit of truth is in fact spelled out in the central part. And if somebody would like to have an application of the fruits of the Holy Spirit, we can read in the first, uh, in the second reading, is an option from the letter of St. Paul to Galatians. I would like to wish you a nice day and a reflection on this gospel reading. God bless you.